What's going on everyone? My name is Impulse and welcome back to Hermitcraft Season 6. We have made it the special 100th episode of Season 6 and I am excited today because we are going to go on a journey, a journey in time through everything that happened in Season 6 in a very short amount of time. So get ready, grab your snacks, and here we go. I literally just logged on for the very first time here on the Season 6 world, and I am on some sort of island. We're going to do things differently this season, and I think you will all agree it is for the better. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I have my own little spot, and uh, basically that's because, you know, as we were all checking out the island, I was like, I... I gotta have that. I gotta have that spot right there. So here we are. I'm coming up on my little piece of land here, and it is the Bay of Impulse. Uh, I'm gonna take a little inspiration from a YouTuber that I admire greatly. It's one of the reasons why I started YouTube, and that's Ethos Lab. If you guys have ever have ever uh, watched Etho, uh, he has a Let's Play series where basically he kind of like lived in a cave system. We've got ourselves a skelly spawner in here. We got the spawner room dug out and decorated a bit, still lit up so we're not getting any spawns. The next skelly that comes in, we'll push him over and then boom, he zooms all the way up to this. He's gonna come over and then we're gonna drop him. And of course I put some water there so I wouldn't get hurt. Now we got a nice source of XP as well as all these other goodies flowing into this chest I have. And after growing a lot of sugar cane and being very patient, I was able to finally put together all the bookshelves needed to put together this full enchantment setup here. But look at this, guys. I've been AFKing to allow some villagers to breed. Future home of, and here's the name. I'll put it in quotes. I trade. <laughs> Check this out. Check this out, people. Ready? One click. Mending 10. Boom. There we go. The outer shell of the training hall is built, and I think it looks pretty good. I really wanted to use the stripped wood here. It's stripped birch logs. He's in there nice and tight now. That's great. And we'll take that off. And this is the one with the projectile protection 3 and sharpness 5. That's a good one. Power 1. So there we go, and I'll probably end up putting signs above him and stuff once I get them all in here. He made it in safely. Oh my goodness. It was pretty stressful bringing him over here, but he made it in safely. Only book he has that I care about is that one right there. Mending for 10. Oh yeah. Just to get access to the building itself, I think what I'm going to do is they're going to have to be in possession of one of these. Access to iTrade requires a season pass. Please see Impulse SV to purchase a season pass. Um, okay. What you want to do is that's your season pass. Hold on to that. Make sure you don't lose that. If you do, I can I can help you out. I'll, I'll you know I know that you paid me. I can replace it if you die in lava or something with it. Uh, but okay. the way you get in is you see this dot on the eye. Just toss uh -huh. that book on that dot. So that's how you get in. Of course, you want to make sure it's spit. You saw it spit it back out. You can collect it back on your way yeah, in. Yeah. Um, anywho. So yeah, this is basically the first level of the trading hall. I'm actually gonna, you see how there's space above? We're oh, getting, nice. We're getting more in, man. I got I got plans, nice. I got plans. We're just not there yet. All right, there's the diamonds. There's your there's your pass. Don't don't lose that. All right. Excellent. Oh, this is Sweet. awesome. I trade season pass. Check this out, guys. I got them right next to the skeleton farm uh, where the skellies land here on the hopper. And watch, watch. Any second now, they're going to realize, hey, there's a couple skellies nearby. And we'll go ahead and just take care of them for you. Uh, <laughs> they're watching new ones come down. There we go. He finally realized, oh, there's a bunch right here. And it took them out for me. And look at this. I'm getting the XP from it as well as, you know, things still coming into the chest, which is great. So this is going to going to be a big hallway you can see here I've already started to dig out this area because I got some more farms that I want to put up over here I am so pleased with it we are producing lots of good stuff now that we can bring into the iTrade place uh, shop and try to get some some more diamonds off of selling those for trades you like oh, it? oh man yes yes I'm oh my glad. gosh you spared no expense with quartz either yeah I uh, I realized what? like halfway into the project that maybe I, given the amount of quartz involved i probably should have charged you like eight diamonds more. plus building materials yeah. but uh <laughs> you know you know i mean we'll call it 
we'll call it okay. This is awesome. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've already made ten diamonds in microtransactions, and I swear I set this up like just a few hours ago. I'm still trying to figure out what's going on with this guy. I have yet to figure. What? No! 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 Shoot. So earlier in the season, somebody reported to me that you may have come in here without a season pass. Is that, is that true? Uh, I mean, let me think about that. Yeah, I, yeah, I, mm. um, uh, I mean, I think you did. Yeah. Pretty sure you did. The door was on backwards. I knew somebody did, and when I asked, they said it was you. So, uh, <laughs> like I said, I'm a nice guy. I, I will go ahead and we're, we're just going to do a slap on the wrist for now. Just a slap on the wrist. Uh-huh. And now you're it. No! <laughs> no! Oh, God. Oh, man. Got you me. are it. <laughs> Nailed it. Oh, oh nothing, nothing to see in there. Nope, not, nothing to see in there. Wait, oh. wait, wait, wait. Oh. Oh, 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 It's not mine. It's not mine, I swear. Technically, hmm. for offenses like that, I would say we go by, like, 32 diamonds or something like that. I got a better deal for you. What if, yeah. what if I offered you one of these guys and, and we just, we just, you just turn a blind eye to the violations here? Oh, hmm? man, you... I didn't expect that at all. <laughs> I also picked the 32 diamond price randomly. Exactly yeah. <laughs> how much season pass would cost. Right. Oh, but that's a great coincidence, man. You're that such is. a good guy. Yep. So see yep. guys, I'm looking for the I'm looking out for the good here on the server mm -hmm. and people are complying. They understand. Nobody wants to be that guy that, you know, no. hates nature. Right? You right. don't wanna be No. That. I'm good guy impulse, so, man. <laughs> So here we go, guys. Here we go. We're going to spawn the wither. Worst case scenario is it actually goes through the portal, goes to spawn, and just wreaks havoc at the spawn. Oh, wow. <laughs> so many things could have gone wrong, but it looks like we're going to be just fine. All right. And we even got a head out of it. Wither and vulnerable. Nice. <laughs> we got the head out of it. We got the star, which is what we came for. We've got it, people. We've got the beacon all set up now. And I have put on the haste to even had some leftover iron blocks, which is good. So, oh my gosh, I love the, I love the efficiency five with the haste too. It is so awesome digging like this. One loot box four, one block of diamond. We'll see if we can get some blocks of diamonds and and if these things start to sell so that's a done deal flip this and what we should have is underneath here there it is missing bedrock we did it oh my goodness i'm so glad that worked now we can get up and down through the bedrock ceiling of the nether we just successfully broke bedrock you know i just decided to build a gold farm why not you know <laughs> put this thing together and this thing's absolutely amazing it is a, a an xp slash gold farm from il mango we are just yeah i'm getting lots of kelp already this is crazy so the fact that this thing's just going to pretty much be in range of me at all times as i'm working on the base is going to be quite nice the cart is going around and collecting the kelp now let's see if it picked any up on the way it should stop and start unloading it you should see it start shooting up the elevator there and getting into our system and there you go you can see the cart returning to go pick it up the furnaces are going pretty steady now let's see we're getting oh my goodness yes we're getting all the dried kelp so let's go ahead and set up these new micro transactions here so i wasn't quite sure how much to charge for these so i'm gonna go ahead and we'll We'll start off with a price of eight emeralds for one diamond. As far as the books are concerned, I'm going to do 16 books for one diamond. I think that's an okay deal. I think now I'm in the mood to go dig Tango's base. <laughs> what do you think I was going to say? Uh, what do we got? Oh, slightly used, but still skid free. I was kind of hoping I would get a silk touch pickaxe because I wasn't paying attention and I destroyed mine. I ran right through the durability and it disappeared. It's gone. I lost a silk touch doing this, but that's okay. We need to properly name this place now. So let's go ahead and pop up a sign and let's say, welcome to, let's see, what would be a good name? How about golden eye? <laughs> that works. 
<laughs> 16 gold blocks for one diamond? That, that should do. <laughs> gold knife. <laughs> and hopefully he's in there and... Okay, all right, so he's safe and sound, it looks like. This thing is functional, and if you ask me, this thing is pretty cool. Look at this. Look at what we did today. <laughs> Fully automated tree farm with a wither boss harvesting the wood for us. That is seriously awesome, guys. I didn't expect to see you here. I'm here to kill you, in Oh, boxer. okay. <laughs> I was, I was wondering I'm, if I should be no, afraid or not. <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm not evil anymore. I'm very well behaved. Are you now? Okay, I'll trust you then. <laughs> yes, and I would like to become a patron of I Trade. The Iron I Trade is the Iron Impulse. Is that not right? That's right. That's my trademark. Anything I whatever. That's me. So let's press this and see if they still come up. Yeah, looks like it's working great. <laughs> you can see there goes the rest of them. Here we go. Is it coming this time? Yay! There we go. <laughs> Keep going, buddy. You got it. You can make it all the way to the bay. Right? 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 Are you going to make it? Are you going to make it to the bay? No. <laughs> um... I guess he had that answers our question. He did not survive. Because <laughs> I think it would be really cool. Let's see if we can get down there. I think it would be really cool to if, you know, have like a an active crew that's maybe like in here unloading cargo off the ship or something onto the dock. Uh, I don't know, you know, just kind of make this thing a little more vibrant here. This was a hey, lot of work, but... It was. I'm I super excited. love how far we've come, and I yeah. can't wait to get We have more to up. go, and we definitely got to get the hermits to start putting some shops in here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Are they coming in at the moment? There it goes. Perfect. That was pretty quick. Okay, so now we have a full... Shulker box should be 100% full. Perfect. Cleo has completed the job, and I wanted to come take a look because it's already amazing. Oh, man, these guys. This armor stand thing is so cool. Look at these guys. They're unloading lapis blocks. It's got the spider head. I may actually change out the heads to, uh, like, villager heads or something, or maybe even, ooh, if we buy the hermit heads with the gems. Oh, that would look cool. So we could actually have, like, the hermits unloading the boat. That might be worth it. Okay, so we're gonna say welcome to, and then the name of the shop is gonna be Strings in Things. Today's the day we are going to start designing the How to Kill Tango machine of deathification. So Tango comes up, he settles into the water, and there it is. <laughs> and then he'll fall down, so great. And then we got a new surprise for him that we're gonna be putting in here. And I think we should give this thing an official run. So I'm gonna hit this button and hopefully we make it all the way to the end of this thing. Here we go, here comes the happy fun sauce. And we are not dead, three and a half hearts left. Not too bad, that seems good. All right, hopefully we get healed up a bit when we get up here. There we go. And then immediately hit in the face by the ghast. There is our drowned, and I think we're standing too far back to see his name tag, so that might be something we want to change. All right, now, are we going to get blown up by the TNT? Moment of truth is coming up. There we go. Okay, we got hit a little bit. That's perfect. Here comes the anvil, and ooh, <laughs> it almost hit us and didn't. All right, so finally, we drop down, and one heart left. There's our friend, the most noobish death, which once we put a pressure plate right here, these will open up and that is how Tango will die to the most noobish death ever. There is good times with Scar. Oh, he's hiding from him. He doesn't see us. We can sneak up on him. He doesn't see us. Ready? Wajow! <laughs> he's ready. I'm not yet. Don't worry. Oh man, he had no idea we were in here. <laughs> 
<laughs> I got him good. I got him good. He's he got scared. <laughs> Right click on here, it's gonna know that we've got off the pressure plates and that's when it's gonna go up. And you can see it is working great. We get all the way to the top, no problem, every single time, which is awesome. Now when we get to the top, I've got a little tripwire catching system basically that's gonna hold us here until the player actually ex exits the cart and then exits the tripwire and then down it goes. We go 50-50 on the profits. Ooh, that's even more than I was yeah. thinking. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, my dude, like, listen, I, you know, I'm not a greedy person. I'm happy to share, man. I, I don't ever want to cut down another tree again. If you can help me with that, <laughs> then we're good. I can. So we go 50-50 on oak and birch. Uh-huh. And that sounds like a great deal. And that might, that might maybe potentially fund another project that I could expand yes. to other types of wood eventually. Maybe. Ooh. Mm. Now you know we're what I'm cooking, saying? my dude. I know I'm I'm really oh. bad at math, but if I did it right, I won. I think so. Yes! Like Zach says Jim got disqualified. Oh. Cup was very yeah. close. That is oh. two death machine contests in a row that I've won. Oh man, he can't <laughs> yes. be stopped. Not too bad. <laughs> yeah, you deserved it. I have to say, the TNT was effect was glorious. Yeah, yeah. Is he going to die himself? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, jeez, <laughs> he's for real. Everybody kills the winner now. Yeah. <laughs> I did die. <laughs> and there it goes. Dusk is upon us. This is going now. <laughs> you can see sugar cane firing all over the place. I love it. Uh, uh, here we go. And pull back and shoot. Whoa, hey guys. <laughs> Look at this what? guy go. Right. Oh, no. Wow. I'm... Oh, he's in the rough. Where am I? Where am I? Oh, no. It's pretty okay. good, though. So the all-important scores. It's like a little ceremony, oh. isn't it? Uh, so I ended up with 41. We are going to do his truly universal tree farm because this one will give us all the different types of wood that we will need for stocking the shop, the log shop, That now that Ren and I are in business. see what we have in here all right not so not too bad for you know the minimal time that we've been in here the course is now finished and looking pretty good to captain cleo your loot has been pillaged by the dirty molly that's the name yeah. of our boat yeah anybody yeah that's a good name. it's stuck look at that <laughs> it looks great man i i guess the sails because they're see-through are like kind of difficult to see in the day but a little bit yeah. you know it's uh it definitely looks like a ghost ship to me and it looks yeah. looks spicy it definitely turned out great, man. It's amazing. Yeah. This sign has been switched. This says Grian this way for treasure. I don't know why somebody was trying to lead Grian into our trap when it was meant for Cleo, but apparently Grian fell for it. <laughs> Poor guy. Impulse. Enter the Hall of Atonement and be cleansed. 100% of true friendships don't end in betrayal. Be a true friend to all. Okay. I'm, I'm friendly. I'm friendly. Stabbing people in the back. Oh, jeez. <laughs> He is definitely going to love this. Green's been trying to get emeralds lately. He's been selling his things for emeralds. And uh, yeah, now he's going to have a bunch from me as a nice gift. So I've left him some notes in here. It says, from your secret Santa. Oh, and I fixed your mailbox. Things on this server have gotten far too out of hand. We have put up a giant white flag to symbolize that there is a ceasefire right now. No more pranks, no more fighting, because we need to sort some things out before we get into all of this mess all over again. We come in here and you can see what happens is the water is actually pushing 
the gas ball out of our way. It's catching that corner right there and blowing up, but we're not getting hit by the gas ball, and that is the magic of this whole thing. And so, yeah, the water current basically pushing the gas ball out of our way so we don't take damage. And now, if we see a gas ball fly in front of our face, if we get the timing right, we can direct it, and I'll send it into the water there so we don't cause any damage. But yeah, we can actually direct it down to wherever we want. So you just gotta kinda watch, and then time it direct correctly, and if you listen to his sounds, you can do this, or you can simply just spam click, and then we'll just send it into the water there. But um, yeah, basically we can send it wherever the crosshairs are, uh, maybe just a little bit to the left of them, I suppose it's not exactly perfect. But yeah, we have full control over where these gas balls go now, which is amazing. The idea in here is that the enemy, the G team, if you will, they won't know exactly where to go, right? These tunnels, some of these will lead to nowhere, some of them will actually have stuff behind them. And some of them may be booby trapped if they try to come through here. Here we go. I, yeah, Three, I, I've never two, seen this before. One. Oh my god, it's oh, starting, man. man. Yep, Shall I'm firing. Go? I'm firing. Mine's not shooting. Is he moving back? <laughs> the the okay, fire charge is disappearing out of you for me. <laughs> I'm I'm my taking know what's happening. I'm taking down the G. Oh my, that is definitely a beautiful thing. They are rolling in. The hoppers are Yep, here we go. They're coming in, all of them. They're they're all draining of their pumpkins. That one's already done. Oh, this is excellent. This is so good. I love working with villagers, as you guys probably know from my history and already what I've done this season. They're just such a fun game mechanic to uh, to have these guys, and I've always thought trading's pretty cool. It opened. <gasps> grab it. Is that it? it? Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. I got it. Grab it. We did it. We got it. That's it. Yes. I didn't Wait, lie. Do we, we have to make way, it out of way. here alive too, right? <laughs> Dude, flag! I'm oh, it's, it. you got it? it? Oh, nice, good, false. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, folks, awesome. All right, we got it. We got to make sure she gets out of here, X. The flag captured. We win. Wait, wait. What do you mean? Oh. They win. GG. GG, guys. G -G. That was, it was a lot of fun. Everyone. I love awesome. you guys again. If we were to start doing this one, which I believe was set with potatoes, the whole system would start again. And I do have a couple shulker boxes of potatoes in the system. So the light's not going to turn off, but it should make its way through the system. And any moment, there goes the cart. We should see it come up. And it's going to go around and about and eventually drop. There it is. Our potatoes right in place. How cool is that? We have an on-demand shulker box retrieval system. We're making a map on the ground, kind of a pixel art. So we're gonna have carpet and different blocks and it's gonna represent the Hermit Island. So as you can see, once we go inside the tunnel here, this is this is it. This I took a little bit of inspiration from a tunnel that I saw on my patron server. So um, yeah, yeah, it's looking good. You can come here, jump a little bit, right click. You gotta spam right click. Uh, it does work faster if you spam right click. But you can see now we actually get ejected. Uh, nice and neat every single time because it's held in at the perfect height with slabs. Went a little more modern with it, put some quartz in the mix, tied into the dock as well and got rid of the hideous waterfall. There is still a ton of to do in this thing as well. Okay, he wants the bamboo I'm holding. Here you go, buddy. Oh, oh, look at that, we've tamed it. <laughs> All right, there we go. We put in just over half of the field, I would say, and I think I'm actually gonna leave this sugarcane in so that we can still have sugarcane as needed for paper trades and things like that. Welcome to Bamboozled. It all stocked up, and we'll just step back now and wait for the hermits to come on in and make some purchases. Oh, look at that! Yes, we have our first Iron Golem of 1.14 in there. Look at this place! This has turned out so good. I am super happy with it. Um, we're gonna make this basically Impulse Junior's house, I believe. Hearts is a good sign. It looks like they have finally decided the courting period was done. It's time to produce a baby. Alright, let's see. Is it gonna happen? Uh, the hearts. There we go. All right. There we go. Look how many we've got. Pretty good. It's coming along pretty well here. There we go. Okay, great. These guys are making their way out slowly but surely making their way out and around the village. My goal is to have every one of these chests filled. All three double chests 
per book that we were going to get the uh, the trading part back so that I trade is still I trade and they're able to come in here and do some trading. There we go. The tunnel is finished. And <laughs> like I mentioned, it was a lot longer than I thought. This was a lot of blocks to place and I left this open. Uh, this is kind of the old way to go over there too, but I, there's something there. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but I need to make sure people still have a way to get to it. I'm very excited about this. This is the coolest thing ever in here now. We have a full blown system. I can see right here. Cursive binding. Yep. No, we don't have any. There they go. Yes. All right, we've got the infinite villager breeder started and we should have within seconds if we go downstairs We should see the baby has been born. Let's see if we got one in, the in down here. Yep There we go. He survived and he's in the water safe and sound. Oh, oh, that was scary <laughs> Oh, oh, geez. I, I think, I, I think no. I'm good. Oh, these, these are impossible This is the gray house. So where's the brown? We're gonna win. We're gonna win. We We're gonna win. Here comes light blue. Here comes black. Here comes black. Light blue. Yes! Here's black. We're gonna win this. We're gonna win this. I'm Where's... gonna get back. Okay. Oh, you got Ravenger right, right here. I got him. I got him. I got him. Oh, my shield just yes, went yes, away! Yes, yes. That's teamwork! <laughs> teamwork! <laughs> we won! But now we're on the very top. We can jump off. Same as we did before, but now we want to do this right before and see what we can get. Oh my goodness. A 100 on that one. Oh, there we go. New Golem has spawned already. That happened pretty quick. Let's make sure he can't get to that guy. Good to go down the chute. He should be going downstairs and dying, hopefully, as we speak. And if that is the case, we should now see more than three iron in the top left of this chest here. Oh, and of course, some rotten flesh from those that didn't quite make it. stations complete they are fully functioning now we can just hold down right click or left click i should say i should probably get the button right left click and there we go we are harvesting all the nether wart so now we can press this button and we <laughs> hear all the dispensers going off at once which is super loud and uh, yeah it should be flushing mushrooms off of the tunnels here into the hoppers below as i'm stocking up here we are getting into a conversation in chat and it's actually pretty funny doc m is on the server warning us about the hippies here being up to no good and i said man they're just trying to keep the place copacetic and uh ren, ren agrees here but uh, Doc doesn't seem to agree. I don't know, man. I might need to look into what's going on here. I can see another division happening. And uh, personally, I'm a, I'm a person that likes to maintain harmony. What is this? Wanted. Redstone-based hippie to help fight the man. To apply, please contact Green and Renbob for an interview. Yo. Hey, hey. Okay, Impulse. Are you ready for the interview? Um, myself and Rendog are the two uh, native hippies oh, here. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. Why not? Oh, <laughs> when? <laughs> no! Oh, seriously? <laughs> what happened? Oh, <laughs> you you got the job, Impulse. That that oh. no one else applied. It says, hey, Impulse, welcome to the commune. You are here because we need some help. You see the giant RV and the silo outside? Yeah, it's a thing. This is going to launch in the air in a few days' time, and we need a big redstone countdown clock facing Area 77, built to show how long is left, also to give it a countdown on the day. Good luck, and welcome aboard, Hippie Green. All of the parts used were organic. Yeah. They're all organic oh, parts. Oh, organic so, redstone. Yeah, it's all, yeah. all organic. It took me a little extra time to make sure that they mm -hmm. were all or organic uh -huh. to gather that all up. But yeah, I made sure to do yeah. that. So it's all fitting. Well, Sweet. Rainbow appreciates that, my dude. I'll yeah, let him know. Organic redstone only. Yeah. yeah. Three, two, two, there it one. goes. Oh, oh, there they go. Yes. <laughs> Very oh, nice. <laughs> all right, let's get this thing in the air. Sweet. And why is there... What is happening here? Why is there a redstone block and dispensers? Oh, no. 
Are you kidding me? See the b hot potato? No, no, no. And because the game is gonna involve redstone, yeah, man, we're gonna do some redstone on camera, man. It's gonna be amazing. One uh, and fireworks are going off. Come on, baby. Oh my yes. goodness. It's yes. moving. Looking good so far. Looking, looking good so far. Yes. Yes. It's, it's working. Moving, dude. First it's try. Moving. I'll be honest, I don't remember what I put on this item uh, frame. I'm sure it doesn't matter. Are there any um, facilities? Oh. oh. What happens? Uh oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> boys, I'm on one heart and it says <laughs> Minecraft Alpha in the top. Okay. Uh -huh. I hope this Hit works. Hit that button. Okay. S something's happening. Hit this yep. button. Oh, Pull the lever. The tingle. Yep. Oh, the tingles are kicking in. Go. Oh, gosh. Bye, Alpha. <laughs> Uh, oh man, oh, that was a rough landing. I, I'm feeling I think... woozy. Welcome to Area 77 Park. That is oh. right. We uh -huh. have opened an amusement park of wonders and amazing things. Right. Sorry, hold up, hold up. Mm -hmm. uh, this this isn't some sort of facility. This is part of Hermitland. We all look the part, though, yeah. and uh, yeah. together we can open Hippie Land. Although we're not very good businessmen, we should maybe charge one diamond entry. Um, yeah, but you know, I, I I think this could work. We we'll just we'll play it off like this was the plan the whole time. And I would say this game is ready to go. It's looking good. I you saw it in the time lapse. I even put a roof on it and everything. We are back in the lag district, and I'm going to continue working in this area to connect all these farms, make this place nice. I basically want to be able to come here, feel comfortable AFKing and collecting all the goodies that this area can produce. Okay, here we go. Uh, the struggle is real. Oh, man, here we go. <laughs> Feeling the dip of frames. For sure. Welcome back to the present. Thank you so much for going on that journey with me. And what an incredible journey it has been in season six thus far. I just want to take a second to thank all of you for the massive support you have given me during season six. Without you, none of this would even be a thing. So I really hope you enjoyed taking a look back at what we've accomplished this season. I spent countless hours plucking clips from almost every single one of the previous 99 episodes. And I've got so many projects in mind for the upcoming episodes that I'm excited about. So let's just keep it rolling. But that's all I got time for today. If you did enjoy the video, please consider hitting that like button. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you do that before you go. And with that said, have a good one, everyone.